Welcome back, my dear friends, to another video. I'm so excited to share this palette with you. It's the Schmenke Hardam Travel Palette with a flask, water tank. Some would call it whiskey painter, Hardam, a Schmenke, what a color travel palette. Just for the record, this isn't a whiskey painter brand. This is Schmenke. And whiskey painters do have a palette that looks the same like this one. I was so excited to get it till I opened it. And to be honest, I'm disappointed. I hate to say that, but I'm disappointed big time. You can see when I was opening it, first of all, that water tank on the top is not sitting well. It's very loose, wobbly, just a little you know, move here and there and it just jumps off. Um, yeah. I was also hoping that that lid to the water tank would maybe have a chain connecting it to the palette. So when you open it, it really doesn't, you know, jump off your hands or you end up losing it. You'll see later in the video, I was opening it and just it flew over. And lucky there was a bag with, you know, a stuff just below my desk and uh, yeah it landed there so I found it and to my big disappointment I took the pans out to have a look and the finish and the enamel is terrible on that side you can see how you know the finish is looking you can feel it and it's a very rough surface the palette itself closes well so it closes well it latches it's not you know loose so that's that's okay but that water tank which is really crucial crucial to this palette is not really sitting on it doesn't really fit well. and shake shake and it can come off easily you have it in a in a pocket or so you might lose it yep and uh i don't know it does look like it does have irregular paints and in, in a lot of spots and scratches and scratch marks it's heavy so it's a good thing you feel like it's good made but the unfortunate inside finish is not good in the one i received and to the bad luck it's where that water tank should latch and because of that irregular surface it wouldn't move as you can see it doesn't move well i even tried to push it thinking maybe it would fit eventually and look it scratched the paint on the enamel or i don't know i think it's just a paint on top of a metal and definitely that would rust I didn't feel it's right to keep trying to push it in, so I think it probably will just sit on the side, which was not supposed to be on the side, because if you really add water there, yeah, it's it might be just, you know, dribbling on the sides, or anyway, if you are out on, and about and trying to fit this together, it's not really working for its purpose as a travel palette like imagine with me imagining with you if i add some water there and it's gonna be heavy trying to fit it in that spot and it's gonna be heavy you know if you put it in you're gonna spill the water on yourself on your art you know on your journal on the painting you already did or working on I felt like, oh man, I've been waiting on having this palette for so long and I finally bought it and so excited to receive it and yeah, yeah, it was until that moment when I opened it. I thought for a palette that is a bit pricey that 
you shouldn't really have to deal with something like that. It's not just a random scratch, you know. You can just not worry much about it. It's the functionality of it. It's where the tank should latch. So, yeah, I was looking for a little water container that I usually uh, use to fill in water brushes, uh, pens, and yeah, you can see in this one I, I, I dropped it. So, um, yeah, and I'm looking for that and I eventually didn't find it. So, I'm going to use a regular water bottle to fill it, which good news is you can, but you probably still will spill around and make a mess if you're not very careful. I felt like <laughs> I'm a bit slowed down, slowed down a lot, you know, in that second half. Because I felt like if it, I can't really put the water tank properly because it doesn't latch. And if I would lose the brass lid, you know, to the water tank. And if it's not very easy to fill with water, then I'd probably just end up using it at home on my desk so being a travel pallet really is yeah not probably the most practical thing and whoops it's been on the desk i think uh, i overfilled it too I've heard uh, somewhere on YouTube that um, when you fill it, fill the whole flask, it equals filling the tank twice. I'm not quite so sure about that. I didn't check. I heard it. I probably will check that later. And it really closes very well. So I couldn't, yeah, couldn't get any spill out of it. What a shake, shake, shake inside, even if it's full, so. And I thought if I fill it, when you try to fit that, it might fit better. Maybe because it was empty, but no, same. It's still wobbly. And another trial, you know, hoping it would work. But it's definitely not latching. Alright. I think to pour some water, you don't probably, you don't, forget to close it please because you're gonna spill the paint out if you're already painting and I've noticed also that the water doesn't come out just easily it doesn't pour out I did have to shake it to get the water out so if you have your paint you know out there probably close the whole palette so nothing will fly off of you know the pants I've been thinking since yesterday when I got it, like, can I really sand this very rough surface area? But it's not going to work anyway if I do, because it's eventually going to rust anyway, even if I leave it with this rough, lumpy surface. But again, I was hoping if I could sand it, maybe that water tank will sit properly in there. But it's not sure that this is going to happen, really. And if I sand it and I need to paint it, I would probably need to look for a special enamel spray or something. Gosh, that's that's painful. I would expect a lot more from Schmink. And with the price, you know, it's about... It's about $100, American dollars. So you would think it should be way better.
So of course this water is not used, so I didn't paint with it. So I'm just pulling it back. Again, seeing if it's possible to do that, because maybe if you're out and about and you want to fill it and you don't have anything, you know, any special thing, to, a small bottle or so, you don't want to spill. Maybe you fill the water tank and then you fill it through that. Mm, just an idea. And definitely it's not sitting and you can see how it doesn't have enough space to sit even. I don't know. Is it that this particular one I received faulty? Is it all of them? I'm not sure. But I definitely got a faulty one. And Shemenka, if you hear that, I am really disappointed and I wish I could have a very good, perfectly looking palette because I love the design. I do love the design, but I'm really disappointed big time. Thanks for watching, my dear friends. Until next time. Bye.